lot more of it's gonna be wiped out in the market. They're talking about another bank in England that's gonna collapse. Yep. Yep, yep. Let's see if anybody will buy their fifty billion dollars in assets. Well Unfortunately I'm a small player, so I don't know if you want to go to the ham fest tomorrow, Garrison. It's kind of a long drive. Yeah. If you want to do it, we can do it. Are you going to go? Maybe. Other than driving down there and walking around and having something to eat and walking back, I mean, it's nice to go down there and take a look. if anybody's going to stay home. I think there'll be people that will stay home. And they'll I think so, home, too. You know. With gas prices and everything else in the economy It's really got dead. crunched here. Ooh. Yeah. 25%. So, you know, if you put a counterbalance on the other side, you can save 25% in tires. Yeah. It won't do anything good for your gas mileage. It'll stink in lots of ways. Yeah. Did it here after white? Well, after sometime after 9/11. Yeah. You know. Made it more modern looking. Probably. Well, yeah. Kind of the same thing they did with Central. Um, they, they they updated it. So. Well, when I was still in school at Minot State, we were taking some of our biology labs mm -hmm. at um, the um, in Obain and. Since they're redoing the science building, yep. and my mineralogy class was up in the administrative building, if I remember right, so they had to do special modifications for the intercouple of town. That, that still pushes it up here on the uh, right Well, depending on which one you get. No, it doesn't. It, it doesn't it, matter. It doesn't matter anymore. Okay. All right. I didn't know. That was that part of that problem that one time when I drove it off road. Well, it, it may, that, that may or may not have been the issue. I don't know. We know that this stuff doesn't work quite like mm -hmm. it's supposed yeah, to. Yeah, I know. But <coughs>
usually mom has her second yep. light on. And then it'll be whatever her eyes are set to is whatever she's going to see. So. Mm -hmm. But as Dr. Uh, Holland said, her yeah, Once the swelling goes down, it should be better. Well, that's what she said. There was still some swelling. And that's why that it gets yellow and then it goes <coughs> down. Yeah. And that, that protects your retina mm -hmm. from the bright sun and that. Mm -hmm. Well, as soon as they put that lens in there, there's no more cataract to protect your uh, cornea mm. from the direct sun. So you mm. want to be wearing tint and or sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Now, you can get the next level up of glasses where you might not have to wear glasses for anything. Mm. You know, but that was instead of 1300 bucks an eye, that was 2400 Is that like, so like an artificial cataract in there? No, it's, a, it's like a series of concentric circles. Think of a circle inside of a circle inside of a circle. Oh, and now I see why you're talking about that halo effect. Right. So you have like about eight circles oh, inside weird. of a circle or so. Oh, that's weird. And your brain picks the appropriate for. You're not, I mean, it's not doing this because you're as you get eyes, your whole your eyes don't do that very well. Mm -hmm. They don't, you know, focus different this way. What it does is the brain learns to use. Let's see, I'm doing something up, and I'm making up, so I don't know what is the right one on it or not. Let's say you need the biggest one for up close, and that might be totally backwards, but I don't know. But anyhow, let's say you need the outer diameter for up close. Okay, so your brain does that so you can see up close. Mm -hmm. Now you need intermediate, and it picks the, the fourth circle in or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then if you're looking two miles away, it's out there. I'm, now, again, I might be totally mm -hmm. wrong. But then it picks another lens and goes, yeah, I can see two miles away. Interesting. But what starts happening is you can get coronas around stuff, like a light circle around things. <laughs> and mom had her first experience with that in the bathroom with the lights out, looking oh. at the charging on a weird angle wow. with her left eye. Mm. And this... The one she got was the $1,300 lens, which creates, which did away with her stigmatism. So she doesn't have stigmatism in the left eye anymore. Yeah. And she can see, but she can't see great a distance. She can do okay in between. Mm -hmm. So then what will happen when they put, when they put the right eye in after it starts to get better, is you then train your left eye to do stuff up close by covering your right eye when you're doing reading or something like that. And then if you want to do long distance, you cover your left eye and, and teach the brain to use the right eye. Oh, that's going to be exciting. Well, once you do that, then you have your normal vision. And then he said that if you oh, had... For, for you people that can merge your... When you don't have an issue with your emerging right, right, eyes. Right, right, right. Me, it's going to be a freaking nightmare. Well, that's a whole different game. But the, um, he says you have to have different settings wow. naturally to get your depth of focus. Mm -hmm. All right, so if this is set at 2030 and this is set at 2020, the combined image up close and the brain will take bits and pieces and throw it together. And it will, do, it will go heavier on the left eye to read up close and heavier on the right eye to see how far. But the combined image is pretty damn good. Well, the bottom line is everything goes like they think it will go. Mom will not need glasses to drive. I don't require yeah, them legally. But, but if this so eye, if this them, eye, if well, you're so used number, to having them, you're gonna, you're probably gonna keep them. And I, I will have trouble reading up close. Yeah. If I get it out there far enough, I can read her. Well, the trouble with that is one readers, your right eyes reader setting would be, I'm going to make the number, 1.5, and your left one would have to be 1, because they're different focals, right? Yeah. Well, that's the trouble with the readers. If When I tried to use them at Delta, when I was trying to read the computer and write and do all the other stuff at the same time I was trying to do everything else, it was difficult. And then it became even more fun when I still had the original lens yeah. in my right eye, which could see with the readers, mm -hmm. with the built-in uh, trifocal lens was still in there but as soon as they took my right eye out and put the mm -hmm. new one in 
the glasses were absolutely worthless to me as as they were made because they had oh, Right now, they took the lens out of her left eye because it wouldn't match her left eye. So once she gets all of her stuff, once she gets her eyes both drained and yep. optimized, about and a month after the last then surgery, go, get, go, go back to get go get go get to go back to the eye doctor. Get a get another get a, get your. Uh, they can do the test and stuff with the eye doctor and tell you what you need. About a week yeah. after surgery, you go in to have them look at your oh, yeah. eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The well, day I mean, of surgery, they look at it again, or the day after, mm -hmm. yeah, depending yeah, on the yeah. schedule. Okay. And then a week later, they look at it again. Mm -hmm. And then about three to four weeks after the last sur surgery, that's when you go in and make sure your eyes are stable. And if yeah. they are, they'll write a prescription. No, there you go. And then what you get then is... As I have trifocal lenses mm -hmm. now, with the left eye and the right eye looking through the glasses, I'm 20, 20, or 20, 10. Which is why I can see stuff two miles away. Right? Mm -hmm. That intermediate range, it's not quite where I want it with the right eye, but it's exactly where I want it with the left eye. Okay? Up close, the left eye is better than the right eye. But it's still not quite what you really want for really a close stuff. So when I put the, I can legally drive and shoot good enough to pass the concealed weapons test and better without glasses. And with yeah. glasses, I can do it even better if I can get the right lens to line up. Okay. Oh. Do I have the ability to shoot like I used to when I was 20? No. Hands aren't working, eyes aren't working, Yeah. The rest of the body ain't working. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff that ain't working like it used to. But can I do pretty good? Oh, yeah. But can I do pretty good? Yes, I can. Um, do I practice enough? No. But that's another story. But anyhow, I have become fully functional in that regard. And I want to have the tint, and I want to wear glasses to protect the cornea, or the retina in my eye. It looks like rich might be. Yeah, yeah so I was telling some of these still, people in my community. It's still, it's says, still harassing. It says, no. I was telling some people in my community this morning because they were sick. They were talking about how hot, how tall some of these people are. Some of the them people are, I can't find. I says, yeah, I'm 6'8. And the guy says, prove it. He says, I wear 16 quite your police suit. And he's uh, telling them they'll be nice or whatever. Except or something. Yeah, it could be. Maybe it's the controller going whack again. Can you see anything to the right? Okay. Ooh, Delta and Allegiant both here. Well, that's interesting. They're noon run. Is that the one going to Orlando, maybe? I don't know, maybe. Could be. I don't know. If you're okay, I'm going to go by the bank and yeah. get some money in case we decide to go tomorrow, so I'll have some cash in my pocket. Does that sound okay yeah. to you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should be getting a red light or a green light. Yeah. I guess we're going to sit here at the red light. Oh, and then we get the green light. Okay. Yeah. I turned it on yeah, like yeah. the 66 or what, yeah. something on the thingy, but right. it, it ran for a little while. Though. Yeah, and I came out and I oiled the little motor because it always has a problem when you first start it up to heating. Yeah. So I might give it some more oil here later today. Um, and then I turned well, the probably thermostat. Just run, probably just have to just run it tonight, and then we probably won't have to run it for a couple more nights. Well, then I 
fired it up some and it actually brought the bedroom up to 68 degrees yeah. and I said well 68 is a lot because mom was sitting there with all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff wrapped around her and I was like well, was you know better probably good I turned it on this morning yeah so. oh yeah otherwise it would have been 64 or 62 mm -hmm. or something it had been cold so that I don't one, know what it was in the kitchen but it well was cold. we still got I came out I came out at like two yeah played with Amy and I was like well it's kind of cool yeah but once I closed those drapes by the window, it seemed like it warmed up a little bit in yeah. the living room. So I was like, oh, yeah. I'll just leave those closed. Those, the windows are closed, though, right? Yeah, they're yeah, both closed. Okay. The only one that was open was the inside of the bathroom window. Which I think I closed. Yeah. Yeah. Open I earlier, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I had it open yesterday because it was like, was hot in the house. Yes, we're going to make a right the, turn. I let the windows, I let the kind of some fresh air in. Yeah. Or yeah. Amy yeah. said to get in there. Yep. Yeah. to have that trust for her because there is mm -hmm. nobody else to take the money. Well, but I the, couldn't even have that. I know we went round and round and round. I don't know if she's on SSI or she's on SSDI. I think she's on SSDI. Well, SSDI did, is not as restrictive because as she SSI. worked for quite a few years. Yeah. And you didn't have whatever the minimum was for that. Unfortunately. Yeah. Otherwise, it would have been better. Yeah. Well. <coughs> I was told I could have filed for SSDI, but. Proven the amount of money I would have gotten from it with SSI would have been not much like more than what you're getting. Forty now. bucks is what yeah. the one lady said. Yeah. But then the people at the uh, independence thing says, "Well, that isn't right." <laughs> hey, that's what I was told by the people you told me to go to. Yeah. Well, they're pouring concrete, making it happen. Eventually, it'll be back. To the thing with SSDI versus SSI is. You don't you don't have that restriction limit. Yes. But I don't know how the two play with each other if you were on both because she's on both. That's because even, even weirder. Yeah, I don't know how that restriction limit goes because you're under SSI you can't have more than two grand in your bank account. Right. But SSDI you says can you can have whatever you want. Well, and that's where. So they made I would the trust. be. I'd be really weird about how that would. They made that trust for. You'd really have to talk with Social Security on that one. I'd be like, no. I'm not sure how that would work. I'm, I'm guessing SSI would take the advantage because you could probably get more for SSI than you get from SSDI. I don't know. Although that one person who told me, one of my friends who was a financial expert, yeah, was saying. You could technically, if you could get it authorized, right, you could get the same amount you're getting from SSI for SSDI. Yeah, like, well, that would have been nice. <laughs> I don't know how that would have played out, oh, but it would have been sure been nice. Weird, <laughs> what type of weird thing? Oh, I don't have throw. a clue what kind of weird games it would have been. Oh, but Yeah, that's the whole thing with a lot of that stuff. It's, it's like the VA. I don't want to disturb them anymore. It's kind of like, uh, probably would have needed that... Um, that my records from the hospital, which they wouldn't release for some unknown reason. Yeah, well, we had to go back and get. We had the form. See, that was that, that was kind of weird because they said I could have got more money that way. Um, well, I could have got more back pay money, maybe. Yeah. Me, but then I then I was reading and watching There's a few a videos on, that, on that, where they said if you just. They only you're only going. They're only going to go back a maximum of seven two years. years. Yeah. But to then repay. You're not, then you're not going to qualify. Well, then I might as just. I just should have instead of saying stuff that will happen back when I was a child, I should just claim the problems I was having when I was in the hospital in 2015. Because yeah. there's plenty of documentation on that junk. Yeah, but that's 15 years old. No, that that's only that was only that was less than 10 years ago. That was 2015. It's just they, they 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 heard about all the problems I had when I was young, and they wanted to take they wanted to try that stuff. Yeah, well, I was like, well, that would've been nice. We got chased around in circles on that. Yes, we did. And I didn't have enough smarts. Oh, originally, yeah. Yeah, back in, yeah. If, I'd have, if I'd have been smarter, 
instead of listening to the guy for Social Security, yeah. we would have got something going then. Oh, yeah. They but hated infinite well. welfare and anything else. Yeah, well, then we were screwed up lecture, and annoyed. And he gave me a big lecture about that. And I said, I'm just yeah. doing what they told me to do. Yeah. You know, it's like, not like I tried to screw this up or anything. Yeah. I wonder what the post out in the middle is for. Stay off the. That might be saying that's the 50-yard line. I don't know. I think it makes no sense to me. Telling people to stay off of it because it's for no dogs or something, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think they would do that, though. But or maybe. I don't know. I don't know. The kids can't count anymore, and the adults can't count anymore. So they're going to say, that's a 50-yard line. I don't know. It says leave you keep your dog off the field. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. So Mr. Magical Eye is at Long Range Visit needs to get with you. Is the road for the bank or my own? Uh go that way. This way? Yeah, you can get there from there. No, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. this way. Yeah, that's something. Yeah. It didn't go up far enough. Okay. No. I didn't know what I was looking for, mm -hmm. or Can we? I'm learning a little more about it all the time. So it's like maybe it plugged up with bugs or ice or snow or something. I don't know. I just don't Big. understand why they built it that way. But so many engineers knew what they were talking. Well, that's an interesting wireless net or something. Fairly respectable antenna on top of that power pole for something. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure for what. But yeah. I know the FCC wants to bring back net neutrality. No, oh, is that good or bad? I think it was bad. bad. Right? Yeah. They're basically locking the net down or something like that, or restricting. Ah, uh, restricting a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't sound like a good idea. It's not. It sounds really right really with the way bad. everything's going. Though, we're gonna hit this little guy. Kind of seems like it's the way it's really going. Yeah, down the tubes. On the surface, it sounds like a good idea. Until you get into the details. Oh, you really look so at the details? It's not, not a good idea. so good. Okay. Well, you want to and opening, silver linings boutique. Do you, do you want to pay more for your, all your services? No. There you go. You sure don't. Not 
unless I want to upgrade and I don't, I don't want them. Yeah, I don't, the feds are screwed. They must have updated the uh, capacity when I ran a speed test. Normally when I run a speed test, um, it, it fluctuates and stays at roughly the same rate it always stays at. Yeah. The time now it's been fluctuating like a, I mean, it settles roughly back to where, where we're advertised for. Yeah. But it fluctuates up when it first runs the speed test like 200 megabits faster than it normally should. Well, they did some so up, I don't know if they some upgrades or maintenance. Or, they, they did some maintenance. Well, they're supposed to be upgrading everybody to 10 gig internet here soon. Should be pretty doggone fast. Yeah, it's all fiber. Oh, then we'll have to get fiber to the house then. Well, you know, I'm assuming it's all going to be run eventually in fiber everywhere. Well, yes. I don't think they're going to, I don't really, I think they're going to away from coax. Is going away, yeah. Yeah. So when they put fiber in, it doesn't necessarily have to be in your room. From what I understand, yeah. and this could be completely wrong. They're going to run the shortest is run there again. is it runs a fiber line to a little, to like, like the SNE box outside. Right. And then from that box, it runs. Coax. Uh, I don't know if it runs a coax connection. Or fiber. In, or if it runs a, if you run it, you plug in an ethernet line in and runs to your router. Now, question run, is, how do you run from, a, when you run from the SNE to the house? Is is that fiber run or? I'm from the house. Think, from, from the SNE to the inside of the house somewhere. I'm assuming it's going to be, and I could be wrong. It, I'm assuming you plug in your Ethernet cable there at the SNE right. and you run that into your router in the house. Um, could be. Then the question is. Do we want to put the router in a different room? It's possible. Like the living room. Yeah, we could just terminate it right in that, in that little port. Well, I was thinking in the living room. Mm -hmm. And then... Oh, well, yeah. Or, or if it's going to have to come in from the SNE, you would think they'd give you an option of where you want it in your house. It, it might. It might be. And it might come in your existing coax connection. Yeah. Uh, and they might, it might terminate into an Ethernet jack. Some of that cable is not is not the, it's well, not the RG6. It's no, something. we're getting well. Yeah, but I'm, I'm assuming they're going to go rid of RG completely. It's going to go to. Um, well, I mean, your TVs are all on the internet anyhow now. So there's nothing it's, connected it's, to an RG anything. Yes. So if it comes into like an RG45 jack, even if the even if the fiber comes into the house. It terminates at the at an RG45 jack. Or something or, and you know. um, well, where, where the coax cable normally came in from. Well, again, if you, if you did it in the living room, and then you put the router in the living room, or whatever, um, and then you run your RG, you run your networking cable into the router. They have Cat7 cable, which is capable of 40 gigabits a second. Well, we can which, run even if they have 10 gig internet. It'll be fine. It'll work really good. That's your router seems to cover it pretty and well. And you totally just you totally don't have a modem then, so you have one less thing there. It just no goes right into no the router. Modem? Yeah. Really? Yeah. The little ski box and stuff is your like your what modem. was your considered your modem? That's then, outside. Right? Yeah. That's a I'm a, I'm assuming that's how it's gonna work. I could be completely wrong. <laughs> But I'm trying to go by the best estimates I've, I've seen online about stuff that other, company, other companies use. Mm -hmm. Are you going to walk or are you going to stand out in the middle of the street? I'm going to stand out in the middle of the street. You end up being a hood ornament if you're not careful here, guy. Watch this guy closely. Curb myself. Mm -hmm. You're you know three foot out in the driving area. The chance yeah. to go in the head. 